Hi everybody, Quinn for the win here. Today's topic is about feeling seen, heard, and understood. And this is inspired from a client. You know who you are. Much love. And is to anyone who recognizes that they have been living as a codependent. Meaning you have been living in search for somebody else to make you feel heard, seen and understood. You've always been seeking it in, in people and that's just been your, your mission. As a recovering codependent, I lived with that belief that uh, I must feel seen, heard and understood by other people. That I can only feel loved through other people. That's it. What is self-love? Like, what is, what is that? And so... I, I, I just want to show up, show up here and let you know about my experiences, how I grew out of codependency and what did it take and how I was able to provide myself that experience of feeling seen, heard and understood by me. Because if we are going to go about life believing that we can only experience that through others, then we are always going to be doing anything, like we'll even go against ourselves just to seek it from somebody. And if it's not that, that person, then it's going to be the next person, then it's going to be the next person. And we will continue to live in a cycle where we are miserable, we are depressed, we feel helpless, we feel frustrated, and that we are building up this war inside of ourselves because deep down inside, your soul or your inner best friend knows that this is not the way. Like, hey, this is not working. We need to find a different way. And this different path, this is where you need support. This is where we need to come to a place where we're willing to give it a shot. Because it's supposed to feel weird. It's supposed to feel uncomfortable. Because we've never experienced this other path before. Again, we have grown up with this belief that it can only be experienced by through other people. And for myself, it was influenced by movies, constantly seeing people being loved, seen and understood by someone else, right? A love interest, um, popularity, right? We see that in, in movies and in our own personal life of people being seen, heard and understood by being a certain way. So then we will morph into what they look like so that we can feel that. So what has helped me feel seen, heard, heard, loved, and understood? It was being able to be my own best friend. Okay, let's get into that. What does that even look like? It all started from my awareness that uh, negativity was spiraling. So then from that, I told myself, right, I got to this place where I said, I need to be my own friend. What does that mean? Any single time when a negative thought came up, I asked myself, if a friend came up to me and said that, what, what would I be saying to this friend? And so I would use those words and say it to myself. To enhance this experience for myself, I started to watch YouTube videos of people healing from their heartbreak and how they were able to, able to do that. And so I was inspired to create my own videos on YouTube. And I saw that, wow, if I can go to myself and express myself fully and also in exchange then respond to myself with what I would say to a friend, then I would be able to like beat this belief. I would be able to overcome this false belief that I can only experience that through other people. So I did that over and over and over again. And I would also go to my journal and just have this experience with myself where I didn't need anybody else to validate myself. And I would write down what happened in my day to day that I was grateful for or Maybe even what pissed me off, you know, like I started to have these tools to provide myself a safe space to be seen by myself, to hear what I'm saying and be heard. And as I was journaling and doing a lot of video recordings, I mean, you're literally looking at yourself. I started to feel this warmth of love, this encouragement, this compassion that I had for myself and 
I, I use those tools, I use those practices, like as if my life depended on it. So those are my suggestions. I also incorporated meditation where I ask myself these questions. So what are you willing to do? What are you willing to try? Because again, if we do not do anything to combat this belief, we're going to be continuing to go against ourselves, to chase for it for some from somebody else. So with that said, I believe in you. I know that there is a way, a pathway for you to experience that for yourself. It may look different from mine, but I know that there is a certain experience out there that you can provide for yourself so you can feel independent, you can feel empowered, and you can feel seen, heard, and understood and loved by you. Welcome to the self-love journey. That is what it's all about. So with that said, if you have been watching me for a while and you are desiring support, you are desiring to have someone in your corner or cheerleader, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can click the link in my bio, click on the questionnaire. There's, there's a link on there and you can get started that way or just message me and I will just give you my suggestions on what I believe is best for you given your experiences and given what you're going through. Alrighty, much love. I know that there's a way. I will talk to you later. Bye.